Hello, welcome back to Kataria Fables. My name is Usser. I was planning on playing Far Cry, but the game has crashed on me four times now. Even after I verified the integrity of the files. So, we're going to play this instead. And we are heading off to the mountain pass so we can uh, bash open the doors with our bombs. All right. In order to get there, I I think I have to go to, oh, let's look. I think I have to go to the Forest Sanctuary. Yes, and then I just have to exit north. Now, for some reason, I had assumed that I'd opened one at the Mountain Sanctuary. I guess not. Maybe I'm just misremembering. And it was like the, uh, the beach area. Mountain Tunnel Entrance. No, that's not what it is. What should we do now? Oh, yeah, right, setting the dynamite. And maybe, just maybe, I will chant a spell right after you put the dynamite in front of the boulder. Who knows, it might work that way. Or I could hit it with a fireball. Interact. Dynamite! Alright, do your stuff, little man. Oh, thy mystic door. I demand thou open thyself. That's not gonna work. Your passage is blocked, all you do is knock. Knock, knock! Open sesame? Speak, friend, and enter. Just ignite the trigger. Stupid stone, you're the most stubborn stone I've ever met. Zhuplop. What's happening? Oh! No wonder it wouldn't budge. It's not a boulder, but a giant golem. Uh oh, I think the golem's annoyed that we disturbed its nap. Be careful. Uh, yeah, I think. I think you may be right. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Ooh, man, he's got range. No suitable target. Man, he's got rage, and he's a little bit quicker than the other ones. And he's angry! It says so with his name. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that hits hard. Get all three. Oh! Oh no! Oh! Ah, gotcha! Ha ha ha! I got a copper key. This looks... What? But that looked like a copper chest! You stop it, Macaron. Sorry, Golmi, we had to do this. Don't hold grudges against us, okay? Golem shouldn't behave like this. It's almost like someone has put a spell on it to hinder us. Something isn't right, I'm sure of it. We should keep our eyes and ears open. I will. Now we better tell the others that the passage is finally open. Okay, but not without mining and getting that chest. Three thousand? Alright, who do I need to tell? That's my next question. Uh, Chief Oliver, back to Paw Village. You seem in a hurry. Do you need to discuss something with me? Yeah. The tunnel entrance. Yeah. What? Was a golem? Very odd. I've never heard of golem behaving like that. Passage is open now. Fantastic. Been desperately wanting to know how our friends on the mountain are. Glad that we can go visit them. Thank you, kid. We couldn't have done this without you. You truly are our hero. <gasps> Whirlwind swing. Oh, oh no. Oh no, my... I'm full. 
Uh, that RT one I can't do because apparently that needs a different weapon. So let's go... Like, that probably needs a bow. So let's go replace that. There we go. Yeah, see, I, I haven't seen a bow yet. We've got all kinds of magic, but... I mean, I could, I could see using a bow. Stay away from these guys. That might be kind of useful. Alright, so I don't have an active quest. I don't know if I need to wait a day or two, but I'm going to try going up the mountain. In we go. What's in here? Probably bad guys. Um, but maybe not. Oh, I can't break those? What did I hear? Bouncing around. A dark gooey. Whirlwind swing. Oh! Oh yeah! That is a big bat. A dracuffy? Oh no! Hey! Don't do that! I'm busy. I'm out of range, right? Cool. Oh my gosh, look how much there is still! Oh, this is great. Alright, I got all the ore, and that was a ton. 500 pop hitties. Nice! Okay, there's no easy way out of there, so I'm gonna have to run by the bug. If I want all these chests, which I'm not... or boxes, I'm not saying I have to, but I may have to take that guy out. Or not. Ah, now where's the giant bat? Because that would be problematic. Oh, there he is. Please don't aggro me, sir. Oh, he didn't. It was the sir. Always be polite. Use your manners. Ooh. Getting kind of dangerous. Oh, there's more ore. Oh. I want it, but there's too many. I don't feel like fighting them all. Ooh. Oh, there's so much ore. <gasps> Wait a minute, who is that? We must rescue them. Boom. Basil. Hello, Basil. Uh... He looks in trouble. We have to help. Wait, what do I do? Uh, talk to Kelly at Rivero Fortress. Okay, well, I'll get to it. It's not like he was bleeding. He'll live for a while. Hold on, I've got to find a checkpoint, sir. <laughs> they don't let me! They don't let me! Oh, I've got to come back all this way after talking to someone who's going to give me, like, a healing potion. I don't like how I can't warp back to the mountain tunnel entrance. Like, we've got a teleporter there. I want to be able to warp there, too. All right, who is Kelly? There's the commander. Your pickle. You don't look like a dinosaur. Ah, there you are, Kelly. May I help you? Yeah. Potion to bring around an unconscious person. Oh my, poor him. Uh, my professor at the Royal Academy taught me a potion recipe. I don't know if we can gather the ingredients from around here, however. What do you need? Caterpillar extracts? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Around the lake at the swamp. Yeah. Um, oops. That would be... The East Freshwater Swamp. Let's go and see if I've got a warp there. Okay, so I need caterpillars. 
Yeah, watch out for those bugs, because they are a pain if they slow you down. Boom. Take that. Stun attack you. Oh, that shouldn't have hit me. I was right at the edge, but whatever. Oh my gosh! That poison is nasty! What? Hi, Commander. Just when I thought I needn't interfere. You should have been able to open the... Shouldn't have been able to open the tunnel, at least not this soon. What? Must prevent them from getting any further. Our mission counts on it. Hi, Commander. I thought you were helping. Who are you? Are you sure this will work? It will work, Jet. It has to. I worked very hard to get permission to come here. We have to succeed. You were also the one who assigned Nianza here to work under you. Is this another one of your schemes? If you're concerned they will find out that you're trying to hinder them? You won't stop searching for the relics and... Are you quite done? Stop talking and get to work. We have to do what we have to do. As a soldier, I've chosen to save the people from this calamity. Yes, your highness. Uh, highness? I'm not royalty. You are, Hazel, my dear. You are a sister to the princess, after all. Wow, you could rule the whole kingdom if you wanted. You have the capability, you even fight better than your uncle, the king. Stop! Grumpy as ever. So what's the plan? Are you going to retrieve the relic before they can find it? I don't have the power to do that, but we will try our best to intervene. Let's hope they give up in the process. Ooh. Intrigue. I need to go get that caterpillar stuff. I'm gonna go do that. We'll just cut to me finishing it up, however long that takes. Or not. Morning, have you settled in? Yeah. Morning, Chief. It's not that bad living on this farm, right, Nian? It's unusual to see you here. Did something happen? Oh, nothing in particular. I just wanted to stop by and say hello. We have a message for you, though. Sage Albie said he's expecting you to visit him as soon as possible. He didn't say why. Better go and ask him personally. Okay, I'll do that. Anyway, it's good to see you're doing fine. Have a good day, young soldiers. Thanks, Chief. Why is he suddenly looking for us? Probably because we opened that and now there's a new relic. Sage Albie. Hello, Sage. Do you need our help? Oh, it's you. Have you figured it out? Heard you moved the tunnel boulder. That's right. We opened the long last path to the north. But you know, that boulder is no ordinary boulder. It was a giant golem. A real tough one. Not all golems are the forest guardian. Didn't expect to find a corrupted one like that. Probably had contact with one of the relics. That's the main reason why I called you here. For studying Canoidera map, I've concluded that one of the relics is very likely to be hidden in a place difficult to reach. The Icy Mountain. Okay, in the north region. I bet the monsters there are much worse than down here. That's why you'll need to equip yourselves with more powerful equipment and magic. Don't forget about supplies too, it'll be a challenging journey, but one worth the risk. Got it! So I'm curious about something. What exactly happened between the Empire and magic wielders in the past? Yeah. Why are you asking? Uh, because it seems there's a lot more to it than you've told us. All we know is that magic is forbidden. Anyone attempting it is accused of treason, but we don't know the reason why. The long story, it all started with the Wicked King. King Cerulean? No, his father. But he prob he's probably no good either, because st he's still obeying the law. Uh, the truth is, the king wanted to hoard magical power himself and create an army of magic wielders to dominate the land. Royal Academy was against it, of course. They hadn't intended for magic to be used offensively, especially to harm people. 
when the king proposed that, they cooperate with the royal army they refused. The king was enraged. He had every member of the royal academy arrested and all records concerning magic were confiscated. That's something I never knew. Glad you weren't harmed, sage. I'm one of the lucky ones. Most scholars were exiled or worse. No! That's all I can do. This is all I can do to atone for not being able to save my colleagues back then. Let people know that magic isn't intended to harm. After knowing the truth, do you still intend to carry out the plan? Of course we do, right? No, we're not heroes or anything, but we'll do our best. Must be hard for you to live like this, Sage. I apologize if I was harsh when we first met. I just get defensive whenever someone mentions the Empire. Can't help but remember that awful tragedy. I mean, can we blame him? Let's focus on the things ahead. If my research is correct, there should be a dungeon in the Icy Mountain. Go there and see whether my theory is correct. Be wary of your surroundings and don't act recklessly. May the light always shine your path. Thanks! Eh, but, 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 I wanted to check the cauldron. Um, hold on. Mmm, I haven't got any spheres and I can't remember where I was supposed to get those. So I've got two missions. And it might just be easier to go do the relic right now, but I don't know. I really want to get the caterpillars and rescue that guy. Oh boy, I'm getting myself into trouble here. Ah, skill on cooldown. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. Jeez. I killed zero. I am going to do the relic. That was insane. I'll do that between episodes or something. That's brutal. Here's the question now. I've got the quest for the sage, but will it let me go through? Because it wasn't letting me exit out that pass, and I think that's because I hadn't saved that guy. If I have to save him first, <laughs> we're done! Alright, that should be enough bat wings to get me my accessory for the lifesteal, which might turn out to be mandatory. At least for me. Oh, now I can go through. Good. You can just lie there for a while, buddy. The West Karst Hills. We've arrived at the mountainside. So much snow. Is it always like this? Yeah. Thought that only the mountain peak was covered in snow like this. It's not even winter. Has something happened to the weather? Er, it's cold. Like, too cold. Welcome to Montana. Let's find a shelter to warm up. Um, okay, so there's something up there, and then even farther out, there's the dungeon. I don't have a copper key. Whoa! An ice golem. Well, <laughs> we're not picking a fight with him right now. Oh, that was a small region. East Karst Hills. Now, is there just... There's one exit as far as I can tell. We're just kind of going on a linear path here. Oh. Oh. That looks like one of those monsters from Dyland. Are these worlds connected? Because... They, they really do like Dyland and... Oh. Summer and Mara. <gasps> Ooh! Haha, you missed me! Yeah! Because that looks like the four-armed snowman guy from... S was it Summer in Mara? Or was it Dyland? E either way. Oh! Ah! Oh! No! Well, we got our checkpoint open. Let's get out of here. Okay. Mountain field. <gasps> Hello! Are you okay? 
Frosty, welcome to Mountain Field. Are you from the valley or the lowland, perhaps? Not seen you around here before. We come from Pla Village. Suppose you haven't seen any villagers for, in a while, since the tunnel accident, at least. You're right, feels like we've been cut off from civilization. We miss people traveling around this area, especially mountaineers and traveling merchants. But here, here, so it looks like the trouble has been solved, eh? Should we be expecting additional visitors from now on? Uh, not likely. Yep, you don't have to worry about the tunnel anymore, except for the monsters. Path is clear, so anyone can use it. Still have some monster issues, though. Just another problem to worry about alongside this eternal winter. An eternal winter? How is that possible? Move to Montana and find out. Should ask Mr. Basil about it. He is very well knowledge knowledge about this place. Very well knowledge knowledgeable. Have you met him already? Uh, we met someone in the tubble. tunnel. Maybe it was him. He looked unwell. Oh no! What can we do? You need to help him. Of course. Are you the only ones who live here? It's pretty quiet. Yes, it's just us and those monsters out there. Thankfully, they don't seem to be interested in us. Yeah. We don't bother them, they don't bother us. Well, now and then we have to tiptoe around them to forage for food. Guards from Rivero Fortress haven't arrived yet, then? I didn't see any. Guards? We haven't seen anyone except for the rare traveling merchants since the calamity began. <clears throat> Before the tunnel was blocked, certainly. Commander Hazel probably hasn't heard about the tunnel yet. We should inform her. Yeah. Are the monsters around here troubling you much? We can help out until Rivera Fortress guards arrive. Being sent some protection? We're not gonna starve? We've been facing a food shortage since the traveling merchants' numbers decreased. Yeah. Glad to hear the route is now clear. Afraid we couldn't wait for the merchants any longer. Could you bring us some food, enough to last a week or two? Sure, please hang on for a bit. We'll be back fast as we can. Yeah, in the meantime, don't don't starve to death, okay? Uh, quest accepted. Hunger attack. Uh, who do I need? Okay, so talk to Celine at Rivero Inn, and then I need to talk to the commander at Rivero Fortress. Wow. Okay, there's only two people here, but there's like three houses. So what's the story with that? Also, wow, they've got some fortifications here. I need a warp point. I didn't see one, so I'm gonna look around. Old key. Ah, there it is. There it is. Back to Rivero Fortress. All right, where's the commander? Am I going to have to stay the night? Closed, closed, cl ah. Yeah, I need to... Sleep. Let's see if I can talk to the person at the inn. The inn should be open. Quest complete. It's you, looking to rest after a long adventure? Yes. Oh no, my poor sister. I'd recommend that you discuss this with Pickle. He knows what to do better than anyone. Don't worry, I'll cover the ingredient cost. Cool. Sleep. What is free? I didn't know that. Inns usually cost money. So I need to talk to Pickle and the commander. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Pickle. Pickle. Uh, I need to talk. What can Pickle do for you? I know, that's terrible. Even worse, Pickle only learned to make tropical food recipes. Pickle heard that Commander Hazel's aunt is a great cook. Why don't you go ask her to teach you a homemade recipe? Pickle thinks a soup or stew is suitable for cold weather, no? Thanks, Pickle. Uh, there's the commander. Anything to report? Yeah. I've heard about the tunnel. I must send some soldiers out there. Thank you for your report. Oh, nothing. It's just... Not sure when we'll see an end to this calamity. Ants have trained to deal with this kind of situation, but no one wants it to last forever. We need to find the root of the problem, but how? That's what I'm working on. Um, the king. There's the root of the problem. 
Can I trust you? Meet me upstairs at Rivero Inn during the night. Don't delay. There's something I need to discuss with you. Don't tell anyone else. Okay. Of course your pinkish friend can come. That's all for now, soldier. Alright, Commander. Thank you for that. We're we're gonna go talk to um your aunt. Ah, vegetable soup. There's the soup. So I need to complete the Vegetable Juice 2 quest. Boy, I need to complete the Cheeky Merchant quest, so I have to complete a bunch of side quests even to get that. Speaking of which, I was supposed to do onions, and I didn't see that I had onion seeds. And we're, gonna, we're going to need to progress this, so let's do that. We'll plant it, we'll water them, and that's probably where we'll stop this one. We're making progress, it just doesn't feel like we're making enough progress. Um, but in between episodes, I will go and I will... Where are they? Uh, equip. I will go and I will take care of Basil. Boink. Because that's a lot of caterpillars, and that would have taken me forever to do. So, I'll do that between episodes. Save. Boink. All right, that's where we'll stop with this one. We learned the commander is actually a princess. We've also learned why the Empire has made magic treasonous, because they're trying to hoard it all for themselves, and they don't want anyone disloyal being able to use it. Because apparently the Empire is evil. Who'd have guessed? Anyway, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can see whenever I post new things. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you on the next one. Bye!